Jawa and Family of Bitstop Network Services Incorporated for their generosity through iradioportal.com and for the intention of our sick brothers and sisters. I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them and I will be their Lord forever. We begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Our sisters and brothers, for us to be worthy to partake in this sacred meal, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His mercy and forgiveness. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that at the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, This is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice. Then I will be your God and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, the prophets, yet they have not obeyed me, nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call them, they will not answer you. Say to them, This is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. 
Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for He is our God, and we are the people He shepherds, the flock He guides. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear His voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa, in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Please stand. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. And when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him, ask him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. But your sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. The Lord says, whoever does not gather with me scatters. My dear brothers and sisters, the work of the devil is for us to be divided. He will divide us and he will conquer us. Because once we are divided, the devil can easily work in our life. And so we must always be connected to the source. We must always be connected to Jesus. Because if we do not gather in His name, the devil can easily defeat us. And so there are three things that we should always bear in mind for us to be connected to Jesus. And what are these three things? First, we should know how to pray. Because prayer is the greatest weapon that we can have so that the devil cannot work in our life. That's why even Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Master, how should we pray? The disciple asked him, when you pray, you should pray this. Our Father who art in heaven. Huh? 
hallowed be thy name. No? So he taught them the proper way of praying. And he even exemplified this in his life. No? We know that Jesus is a God. No? Yet, even him as a God, no? he showed that he needed to pray no? and to ask for his strength from the Father. No? And so, my dear brothers and sisters, so that we will not be scattered, so that the devil cannot work in our life, we must be connected to the source, and that is Jesus. Imagine a cell phone, for example, without battery, or if this low bat, it cannot function. No? You need to charge it. No? You need to plug it no? so that you can use the cell phone and you can text your loved ones or you can send emails. No? And so in like manner, so that God can work in our life, we must be recharged with His love by praying to Him. That's why we are here right now no? in this church not only to ask no? for the petitions that we need to have in our life no? or the things that we need, but we are here to pray and to listen to God so that we may do His will. Because in prayer, we can no? Know and understand the will of God in our life. And in that case, we will never get lost because we know that God is with us. So that is the very first thing that we must value in our life, that we must embrace and practice our prayer life. Because without prayer, the devil is so cunning, my dear brothers and sisters, and he can easily tempt us to do evil things. No? Prayer. Second is unity. We should be united. The devil attacks no? the family no? and the devil wants that the family be divided. No? He doesn't want unity. No? He wants divisions in the family. And in our no, gospel reading for today, very clear that the devil is so tempting. No? He can easily tempt us if we are not united. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, our Lord Himself said, Where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. So if we are united as one family, the devil cannot work in our life. And how can we be united? We can only be united if we do not forget the third element, and that is love. Huh? The devil sows no, or implants to us hatred no, so that we may not love other people. And if there is hatred in our heart, then we separate our ways from their ways. No. If there is hatred, kung mayroong galit sa ating puso, no, hinding-hindi tayo makakapag... No, O hindi, hindi, na, hindi, hindi tayo magiging isa. No? At pag hindi nagiging isa, no? ang pamilya, ang workplace, o kung saan man, institution na yan, then it can easily be divided. And it will never reach its goal. No? Hindi, hindi natin makukuha ang ating pinakaaasam 
pag tayo ay hindi magkakasama at nag-iisa. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, we all know that we are pilgrim people. We journey as one family. And so, this is the message for all of us. If we want to gather together as one family with the Lord, let us sow love in our heart. Let us implant love to each and every one, especially in every member of our family. In that case, the devil cannot work in us. And so these are the three things that uh, our Lord wants us to embrace in this season of Lent. We all know that temptations will always be there in our life. As long as we live, the devil will try to overpower us. But he can never do that if we know that God is with us. Our Lord Jesus Christ himself assures us with these words. If you are with me, who can be against you? And so, my brothers and sisters, in this Mass, therefore, let us ask the Lord to strengthen our faith so that we may not falter along the way. We will not be tempted by the devil by sowing division in our heart. But rather, let us embrace love so that we may live in unity. And if we are united, the devil can never overpower us. Amen. We all stand. Gathered together in Christ, who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. Let our response be, Father, make us one with your Son. Father, make us one with your Son, that the church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak out boldly in the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make, make us one with your Son. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. That those who have died may be received into the fullness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. Almighty Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son who conquered sin and death who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Cleanse your people, Lord, we pray, from every taint of wickedness, that their gifts may be pleasing to you, and do not let them cling to false joys. For you promise them the rewards of your truth, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults. Raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards. Through Christ our Lord, through Him the angels praise Your Majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before You. Heaven and virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word and brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners the way by which you, your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom you, for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when we are about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing he, in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people 
and may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Elmer, his auxiliary, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Brothers, sisters, and brothers, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. You had laid down your precepts to be carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes. You are listening to the live Mass on Air at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And the celebrant for this live Mass on Air is Rev. Father Alan Soriano. Let us pray for Mr. Wilson Tua and family of Bitstop Network Services Incorporated for their generosity through iradioportal.com and for the intention of our sick brothers and sisters and to all Filipinos working abroad. For you who are listening to this radio and watching through the internet, the live broadcast of this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass being celebrated in this Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may I invite you to pray with me this spiritual communion in the act of charity. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me 
to be separated from you. Prayer for an act of charity. Oh my God, I love you above all things with all my heart and soul because you're all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Ito po ay isang paalala ng Radyo Manawag. Minamahal namin mga kapatid, kami po ay taos pusong nagpapasalamat sa patuloy niyong pagtangkilik sa Radyo Manawag. Ngayon po ang misang ito ay para sa mga may sakit at lalong-lalo na yung hindi makapunta sa simbahan dahil sa kanilang karamdaman at kapansanan, bagamat pilay at hindi sila makalakad dahil sila nasa higaan. Pero ang misang ito ay para sa lahat din po. Nga lang, mahalaga po na tayong walang sakit, walang karamdaman, makinig tayo, pero kinakailangan po na pumunta pa rin tayo sa simbahan mismo parang tayo ay maka physically makapagparticipate kayong po na mga may sakit kung gusto po ninyo magkomunyon lapitan lang po ninyo ang parokya ang parish priest at the same time ang parokya ng manawag parang humingi kayo ng komunyon at kayo bibigyan ng komunyon sa inyong mga tahanan maraming salamat po sa pamagitan ng radyo ito kami po ay nakakapaglingkod sa inyo God bless us all. Let us pray for vocations. Jesus, Good Shepherd, you have just fed us with your body and blood. As you rest in our hearts, listen to, to the fears and anxieties we carry. Let our response be, send holy vocations to our seminary. Send holy vocations to our seminary. Hatred, violence, and oppression have wounded us. Send us courageous priests and seminarians to be heralds of truth, justice, and grace. Let us pray. Send holy vocations to our seminary. Misery, poverty, and distress afflict so many. Send us generous priests and seminarians to set your people free from the shackles of sin. Let us pray. Send holy vocations to our seminary. Fear, discouragement, and restlessness, restlessness trouble multitudes. Send us priests and seminarians so can show your face of hope. For the world, let us pray. Send holy vocations to our seminary. Doubts, distrust, and reluctance prevent our youth from deciding to follow you. Set the hearts of our youth on fire to follow you. Let us pray. Send holy vocations to our seminary. Impurity, selfishness, and pleasure seeking blind our souls. Bless our youth with pure hearts to see your face and seek holiness. Let us pray. Send holy vocations to our seminary. God, our Father, look upon your church in Lingay and Dagupan, celebrating the year of the parish and preparing to celebrate our second synod in this September. Send us holy vocations to set your people free and spread the fire of your love to all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who re you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that since we have from you all that we are, 
through your grace we may seek what is right and have strength to do the good we desire. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty and loving God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Let us continue to love one another. Thanks be to God. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Father. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of, artic of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us sing the Immaculate Mother. Immaculate Mother, we come at thy call, and lo, at thy altar, before thee we fall. Ah, Nor see. 